welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. We're still on day six doing noise modules and today we've come to the digital noise module. And I am aware of that in the beginning of this series I said that I'm only going to use uh, still pro in production uh, ICs and circuits and not use any hard to come by parts or obsolete parts. But today, I'm sorry, I'm going to make an exception. This is an obsolete part. However, it is not hard to come by. It is still very cheap and very easy to find on eBay or stuff like that. I'll put the link in the description so you can uh, buy them if you want to make this module. So we're going to make a digital noise module from a 4006 used in the TR909 amongst many other uh, old vintage uh, products. And um, so it's not random technically because it is just pseudo random and in, in low frequencies it does sound random but if you speed it up really fast you will hear a pattern. And I find this very nice and intriguing and I wanted a module with that kind of quirk as well. Plus uh, digital uh, randomness is cool in its own way as you probably saw in that patch I did in the last episode with the colored noise through the 4046. Um, so I made two actually, uh, one that did not work. I found a schematics that I started with that seemed really straightforward and simple, but it, that didn't work. So uh, I'll just show you that one so you know if you see it, it, it doesn't work. And then I made that one that works. So uh, just good to know that there are schematics out there that doesn't work, of course, like everything on internet, everything isn't good out there. Um, but let's look at those schematics and build it and then let's see how it sounds like. First I'd like to talk about the schematics that uh, that didn't work. So I found this group of schematics, trigger, divider, digital noise, all handwritten and also uh, R envelope and generator. I actually built this one and I didn't get that one to work as I wanted to. Uh, and then also I built this one. I even thought about building this one, now I'm not so sure. So this one didn't work, I breadboarded it and it did not work. So instead I found this one uh, again on electromusic.com uh, a very nice forum to talk about synth DIY stuff. And this, I thought this one was simple, but this one is even simpler. Two ICs, the 4006 and a, uh, let's see, a 4070. And then a bunch of diodes and resistors. And that's it. And uh, this one also needs a clock input to work that's on pin 3, so putting a jack on pin 3 and a jack on pin 9 for the output. That is everything except this. This is also a very fast build. Took about a half an hour, I think. So now we're listening to the digital noise out here. And as you can see, just as it is, it is quiet. The digital noise needs a clock. So we're going to use the clock from our oscillator bank here. And we take one in the middle. And now you directly hear that there is noise. And if you see here on the oscilloscope, it is square waves in random order and length. And we can tune this. A 
as soon as I max out the uh, something happens it doesn't like uh, zero signals or something so we go up a bit here even higher and I did it again this is one of these that also needs a reset switch for when you bug it out so now we go really really high let's see what happens hear that so here you this is the whole chain of of different so this is why it's not uh, it's pseudo random not true random because there is a pattern here but then So one extra thing you can do with this uh, is if you take a really low uh, oscillator clock then instead of getting the random noise you get the random gates. So again this is pseudo random and it will sooner or later repeat itself but since we're going this low that won't happen very in a near future so to say so if we take a oscillator into a vectral and then instead of listening to the noise we listen to the vectral or the VCO through the vectral and we take this square into the CVN and now we get a random gate of sort. Again, it is digital, so... And this can, of course, be used to uh, trigger other things that needs a gate. So now we have a random trigger on the attack release. So two different ways uh, to use the digital noise. And so we have three different kinds of noise modules. White, colored and digital. All very nice. I really like the uh, sound of noise in all its forms uh, when it is controlled. I don't like it in the ambience of my house and stuff like that. Then I don't like it. But to use it in a musical theme, it's very nice. Um, so three modules and the digital one also is a pseudo random uh, ra uh, random gate uh, which is also good we'll make uh, another random gate which is just a random gate uh, but in the next episode we'll make a sample and hold circuit so more about that later and, and a Shout out to Ryan LaRock who sponsored this video via Patreon. And um, if you like, please consider becoming my Patreon, you as well, so I can continue make these kinds of videos in even more of them as, uh, as many as possible. And uh, hope you subscribe and that you like this video and all that stuff. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments, of course, and I'll try to answer them as good as I can. And until next time, take care. Bye.